Wow. Now that was a game. And just like last week, it ended with a lot of craziness. YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? Congrats to all the Bengals fans. These dudes literally go from worst in the AFC North. And actually worst, like overall, they, they had the number one pick. They had the number one pick. So they went from worst to the NFL to first in the AFC. And when I mean first in the AFC, they're in the Super Bowl. The Bengals are in the Super Bowl. Like, that, that's the best team in the AFC. There were a lot of people that doubted the Bengals. There were a lot of people that said, oh, Bengals, they had the last place that week schedule. So they played all these bad teams. They even lost to the Jets. But Bengals did nothing but go into the playoffs. They beat the Raiders in a very close game. They ended up beating the Titans in a very close game. And then, and some people were like, oh, Raiders, ah, they barely squeaked in. Ah, oh, Titans, yeah, they the number one seed, but ah, they wasn't all that. Okay, Chiefs, in Arrowhead, what now? Like, you, you have to give these guys credit. Anybody who's not giving them credit, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. They, they did everything that they needed to do. These dudes have been battle tested. They have been battle tested throughout the season and obviously throughout the postseason too. And they have literally passed every test. This game, it did not start off so pretty. It really did. Uh, but Joe Burrow and them, it was not looking good. It wasn't. And Patrick Mahomes, they were on fire. On fire. Three touchdowns, I think who? One to Tyreek Hill, one to Travis Kelsey, where he jumped up like Jordan and got it. And the third touchdown, mm, I really don't remember who the third touchdown was to. Was it McCole Hartman? I don't even remember who the third touchdown was to. But the Chiefs were on fire, and the Bengals were like, <sighs> they, they forgot they were in the AFC Championship. But the turning point for the Bengals was right before halftime. Where I just felt like the Chiefs, ah, usually Chiefs situational play calling is so much better. And, and Patrick, I'm sure the play call was fine, but Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, he trusts his playmakers. And, and that's understandable. Tyreek Hill is a playmaker. This guy can shake you and y'all be in a, inside of the same phone booth. But he gave, he threw it to Patrick Mahomes there behind the, close to the line of scrimmage, but outside of the end zone. Big mistake. Big mistake because right before halftime, that allowed the Bengals to, because they obviously didn't have any timeouts, the Chiefs didn't, that allowed the Bengals to make a stop and the clock ran out. So Chiefs, they couldn't even get three points on that. They couldn't even get three. And that was, that was it. That was it from there. So then in the second half, the Chiefs came out, they had the punt, but the Bengals came out, they were still sleepwalking. But the Chiefs, they just, they couldn't get anything going either. That's when the Bengals, they turned up that pass rush, they started getting the Patrick Mahomes. Um, number uh, 92, I think it was Hill, he caught that nice interception. And things just started changing. There was just this big seismic shift in the game. And all the momentum started leaning heavily to the Bengals' side. And they literally took that and ran with it. Joe Burrow started making some plays. Of course, he made plenty of plays through the air, but he was making the plays on the ground too. Because there will be times when Chiefs, they would bring pressure, they would get pressure, and it would look like, because there was that one play where it looked like Chris Jones had a sack on Joe Burrow, grabbed his jersey and all, but Joe Burrow did a little Eli Manning, then ran out, ran for the first down. Then a couple plays later, on that same drive, he ended up running for another first down, on third down too. Um, so, T. Higgins, ooh, T. Higgins. T. Higgins started this game off, dropped touchdown. Just dropped it, straight up dropped, dropped. But after that drop, T. Higgins was like, hey, Joe, Joey B, trust me, I got you. I promise you, I got you. And he delivered. This dude made clutch, catch after catch after catch after catch after catch. T. Higgins was like that in this game. And he'd been making plays like that all season. But in this game, he stepped up. And there was even, I remember on the, I think it was on the Bengals' first drive, um, where they got held to a, a field goal. T. Higgins, he probably should have had a touchdown early, but, they, oh, it passed interference. It was a pass interference that they didn't call on the Chiefs. But, again, he did not let that stop him, and he had a phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. 
And back to what I was saying about Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill. You go to your playmakers because your playmakers make plays. You go to the best players on your team in critical situations because they've made so many plays for you in the past and you trust them. Fast forward. The Bengals, that they, I think they held the Chiefs to just, what, a field goal in the second half? And that was it, right? I believe that was it because, yeah, they got all three of their touchdowns in the first half. I'm like 99% sure. So the Bengals defense stepped all the way up in the second half. They said, oh, yeah, we let y'all off the hook easy in the first half, but the second half, oh, no, we, that ain't cutting it no more. So then in overtime, so they hold them. You, you hold Patrick Mahomes. Do you really hold that offense to no touchdowns in the second half? That's a, for 30 minutes. That's amazing. But then on top of that, now they get the ball in overtime. It's like, oh, 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 oh. Bengals probably like, oh, here we go. But you know what? We got confidence because we just stopped them. And we've been stopping them. So I'm confident in us. I'm sure that's what they were saying to each other. We got confidence. So what they did, Chiefs end up getting the ball. And it's like, oh, okay, cool, let's do it. You go to your playmakers in clutch moments when you need something. You rely on them. You trust them. Patrick Mahomes threw a good pass to Tyreek Hill. But Jesse Bates, who Bengals fans, they, they like, hey, we need to pay Jesse Bates. He showed you why. Playmakers make plays, but it's not just for offense. It's on defense, too. Jesse Bates got his hand in. It was a good throw by Mahomes, but Jesse Bates got his hand in there last second. Knocked it up. Von Bell, interception. And, and it was right, right at that point, you kind of knew. You kind of knew. But you were like, oh, well, well let, let's see how it plays out. But all that momentum, the, the momentum shift was just crazy. It was crazy. So then that's when uh, Joe Mixon, he just started running it down the Chiefs' throats. They, Joe Bro made a couple nice passes, but they just started running and running and running. He was getting these big chunks, and Chiefs just knew. They were like, oh, well, there we go. And now the Bengals, the Bengals. I had talked about, too, with the Bengals. And shout out to the Chiefs for, what, four straight AFC championships? So they are, what, two for four? Because, no, yeah, two for four because the first AFC championship, they, they lost. Then the last two, they've obviously won because they won the last two Super Bowls. And this one, they lost. So they two out of four. Not bad because you keep making it back. So not bad. And, and shout out to the Chiefs because the Chiefs, they figured out, they knew what their problem was from the last time they won the Super Bowl last year. Their offensive line completely upgraded it. They upgraded it in a major way. But this, oh, man, they, it, they end up coming up just short. Because Bengals made that many more plays. That many more plays. And this is why difference makers make, make a difference. This is why they call difference makers. I mean, it sounds so straightforward. It sounds so simple. But it is, it's huge. Jamar Chase, he is that dude. <laughs> he is that dude. Boy, that, that dude is a baller, man. Straight up, and we we know that like me as a Ravens fan, <laughs> we we seen this guy two times in this in this year, and boy, he, that ain't no rookie. <laughs> that, I I ain't, I ain't convinced he's a rookie. This is not his first year in the league. Oh no, mm -mm. not Jamal Chase. Nope, mm -mm. no, it's not. It's not. But wow, this this game was just crazy. It, it, it was it was crazy, 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 and the Bengals earned it. So shout out to him. Congrats to him. Celebrate. I know Bengals fans, they're going to be going crazy, as they should. They're they in a Super Bowl. They're in a Super Bowl. I talked about it um, last week. Throughout this week, I've been saying it a lot. Like, literally, even if they would have lost this game, but especially with them winning, literally nothing that they do, nothing that they do for the rest of this year, and obviously it's just one game left, but nothing that they do can be considered a failure. Nothing. Because they made it to the playoffs. They won one playoff game. Then they won another playoff game. They won two playoff games. And their first time being in the playoffs in 31 years. Nothing that they can do, whether they lost this game or won this game, nothing that they do could be considered a failure. And they won it. So even at the Super Bowl, if they win the Super Bowl or if they lose the Super Bowl, nothing that they do can be considered a failure because they did the unexpected that nobody thought they would do. They did it, and they, they are in the, the Bengals are in the Super Bowl. The Bengals. Wow. <laughs> what a comeback story, y'all. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I would be live streaming this, but we got some company over to watch the games. So I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and we out.